You're okay, because it's not overheat. Riding in Namibia while you do not like sand at all is probably not the best <laughs> idea ever. A hard day. Ready. All right, cheers, guys. Now, the first stop is the petrol station. <laughs> yep. So, good morning, everybody, from a very sunny and wind still Ludritz, but it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> We are finally on our way again. Venice forks are not leaking anymore. Oh. And uh, we <laughs> we actually stayed here for a week. Not what we expected, but we got stuck with wonderful people. And they showed us around the whole of Ludritz. So if you get that opportunity, you can't let it go. But first, petrol station. Morning. Hello, morning. How are you? Morning, yourself. Talking to your man, you like to talk, he's like me. <laughs> I know. I, I said, No, but you must have a point later. Oh, I'm to. serious. Uh, we, we're just going north, but we don't know what road, we just go. We live on the road, we don't have a house or anything, so. No, no man, it's impossible for you guys not to have a house. We, house. Don't. we don't. We don't. Everything is on the road of bikes. We live but uh, you must have a house somewhere. We no, don't. don't. Honestly, I, we, I do have a house. Here's my house. Listen. Like this. <laughs> 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 Everybody put your other finger in the air. That's <laughs> antenna. Thing, yeah. You stand like this. <laughs> you remember the old TV antennas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you <laughs> stand like that. <laughs> okay, guys, see the workshop is now um, closed, so I'll I'll just do it uh, somewhere else. Yeah, that's fine. We will do when we have a break. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. This is a very interesting little town. Uh, it sure is. And it's got a very nice community. So now we need to actually go back to Aus. Um, there, is, <laughs> there is no other way really. Um, so it's also until Aus, which is about 120 kilometers from here. And then we're going to go back on the dirt road. And then we're going to go to, I think it's Hammeringhausen. Helmeringhausen. Helmeringhausen. I think. I think we're going to sleep there somewhere. There's a couple of camping sites. Luckily, the wind is much, much better. Oh, this is lovely weather. Yes. You don't really get this often, I think. Once we get to that turn off that goes to, to the ghost town, I just yeah. I just quickly want to stop there. I just want to have a look at the forks and stuff with the weights and a little bit of riding. 
Just want to make sure that everything is in shop. Okay. a week ago we didn't really know too much about this area we just knew it was classified as a national park um, but it appears this is a it's called Sperregebiet which basically is um, a an area it goes all along the coast and is a protected area or it's a you can't go there it is where all the uh, diamonds were found the diamond mines still have the concession so as in any place where there's diamond mines it is the security is very very high and you can't go there now there's uh, still a couple of diamond mines uh, mining in this pergebiet and they're still doing pretty well uh, there's, there's a couple that's now dormant like Kuhlmann's Kop uh, is not you know that's not active anymore so just because it's a, um, a restrictive area a secured area um, actually nobody's allowed to go there so they can't build and they can't develop the ground and that is actually the only reason why it's a, a reserve so the animals they belong to um, it's a nature conservation organization and then the ground is belongs to the mines so it's just a they work together so here you of course you're allowed to to ride or to drive um, but then further away from the road if you go inwards there's actually fences that you can't go like you're not allowed to cross them and then you're gonna get locked up or a fine or something like that so it's actually quite a an interesting combination of a re being a reserve and a, a, a protected or restrictive area at the same time <laughs> There should be a petrol station in Helmringhausa where we, uh, we want to go. There should be a petrol station there as well, but um, I think in Namibia we just need to fill up wherever we can. Okay, let's do this. How far? Oh, let's do this. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwich. There is nothing in between uh, 
here in Homeringhausen. And there's actually only a supermarket in Walvis Bay again. I really hope it's not going to be too sandy. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh... It was so nice and cool at the coast. And now we are about 100 kilometers inland and you can feel the heat coming. The sand is actually getting very, very thick in some places. Um, <laughs> we are struggling a little bit in there. The sand is not really in one place. It's literally hard, compact ground and all of a sudden it's deep sand. Like here, it is deep sand everywhere. And there's no track. Like there's no... <laughs> the, like track of cars where it's compounded and where it's hard it literally goes from hard to soft from nice riding to not so nice riding <laughs> so I think it's a good idea that we uh, have only a hundred kilometers on the dirt road that is what we were a little bit nervous about <laughs> coming to Namibia <laughs> Riding in Namibia while you do not like sand at all is probably not the best idea ever but we thought we're just gonna try and we will get through but hey it is a little bit of a of a slow going at the moment <laughs> it's beautiful scenery look it is amazing but I can't see much of the scenery <laughs> Let's just hope that if we're out of this open area that the sand actually becomes less. So I don't know you can see it from the road here, yeah? but there's a Hemsbok lying right there. Sorry dude, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't want to scare you. It has two names actually. It is either Hemsbok or Nordex. And I think Hemsbok is more Afrikaans, a local name, and the Oryx is an official name. But yeah, they're very well adapted to the desert environment. So they don't need to stick to um, water holes. So they have a much bigger range. But it looks a little bit skinny. That <gasps> <laughs> was always on my arm.
I think I saw a skeleton or something. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Uh, here we go. So you can see in the teeth it's a grazer. It's probably an oryx. <laughs> now I almost tripped over. Bye Vanna! And we are just <laughs> at the moment riding our own ride because one is struggling with this and the other one is struggling with that. So if we have to wait every time another person is struggling, we're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> so we decided to just get a go ahead. Horses. Hello, guys. Very patiently waiting till the owner comes back. <laughs> bye bye. You can see they put stones in front of the wheels in the back and the forth, so they're not tied, but the wheels are just blocked, so they can't really go forward or backwards. Local transport. Now at the junction, here is a D707. So apparently, this is a very, very scenic and beautiful road, but very sandy. So uh, we got warned for this, and it's a little bit of a shame because it looks like you know it's a nice, a nice loop there through the, the mountains. But um, yeah, we are not going to do sand. <laughs> So we're going to keep on with the C something, 13, 26, 27, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, the, in Namibia the C roads are normally the ones, C roads are gravel roads, and then the B roads are tar roads, and then you have the D roads, which is also gravel roads. You have to I'm coming fast. The sea roads are the main gravel roads, so they are very well maintained. And they can be sandy, but they are just in general well maintained. And then you have the D roads, which gets maintained less. And then you have the F roads, which basically don't really get maintained at all. So the safest bet in Namibia is to stay on the sea roads. Um, and that is what we try to do.
man isn't coming. I was far in front, but not that far. I just actually don't want to turn around here. But I mean, just not full, not full, not full. Uh, there we go. Ooh. All right, let me have a look if he's okay. I waited for him now for quite a quite a bit. You okay? Sorry? Oh, it has to start overheat. I was wondering where you were. I waited for quite a while. cool down for a bit um, I think it's look it is not it's not that warm I think it's 34 35 somewhere there it is warm but I mean we have a cold wind blowing so that makes it for us a little bit more durable but I think the problem is that uh, we're going pretty slow in the sand and then with the high temperatures and the bike has been running the whole day it's probably the issue yeah okay it's supposed to be about uh, 100 kilometers on a dirt road today we've done now uh, over 100 so I think we should almost be there the town so I see a signboard and I see a building we have arrived in Helmeringhausen Yay. <laughs> now I think this street is basically it yep uh, yeah Hotel Hemmeringhausen. I think they have camping spots as well. Yes. Okay. Um, they're camping up front. Glad we're here. Yes, I am glad. I am very tired. <laughs> Long day. It was a hard day. It was a sandy day. I'm glad we're here. Yeah. So we set our tent up there on the grass. So there's no electricity at the campsite, but uh, they did tell us that. We are allowed to charge the stuff in the office, so we did that. And now it's time to eat. So we got a, what is it, a mussel? It's, it's a mussel soup, but it was fresh, fresh mussels, uh, which Wendy made us a nice soup from. And so then she, um, because we're traveling, so she's up. Uh, what do you call it? So vacuum. Vacuum packed. sealed it and put it in the deep freeze for us. And we're gonna heat it up with some noodles. <laughs> eat like kings. So we're actually quite lucky with that because at the moment it is Sunday evening. <laughs> so everything is uh, closed. They only have one little shop um, here with some basics and even that is closed. So um, 
yeah, we are quite lucky that we have food packed. So we do have some bread and some peanut butter. You want me to turn around? Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> and Heinz. Yes, thank you very much. It, uh, it helps us a lot. And we're gonna have some fancy food somewhere in the middle of Namibia. So thank you so much. Okay. This is some fine dining. <laughs> mm. That's nice. That's very nice. Some noodles. Right, guys. So I didn't talk a lot today. It was a difficult day. Uh, struggled with all the sand and stuff, but um, we ended it with a good meal. And we hope that you guys enjoyed today. And if you did, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then we'll see you guys in the next one.